Hello, I'm Lenny McGill and welcome to the Glock Store Performance Center. Today I want to talk about a part that is in every Glock that is extremely important but overlooked by most. It is the slide lock lever, also known as the takedown lever. And uh, as you know, most of you know, basically the Glock takedown lever or slide lock lever sits right here in the gun, just under the barrel. And it is used to take the gun apart, taking the slide off of the frame. Now to do so, we always want to make sure that the gun is unloaded. To make sure the gun's unloaded, we're going to go ahead and drop the magazine. Inspect the magazine. There are no rounds in the magazine. That's a good sign. But we don't know if there's a round in the chamber yet, so we want to go ahead and rack the slide and inspect the chamber, visually inspect the chamber. So pull it back, look inside, let it go forward a couple more times. We know we have no rounds stuck in the chamber. Now we're going to keep the gun pointed in a safe direction and pull the trigger. Now we have an unloaded handgun, and we can work on this unloaded handgun for cleaning, maintenance, and this demonstration. Now you'll notice here there is no ammunition on the table. There's no ammunition in this room. And that's the way I suggest that you operate uh, anytime you're cleaning or maintaining a firearm, is uh, keep the ammo separate, make sure the magazines are empty, uh, and um, you know be aware of the fact that it's very easy to load the gun and rack the slide and pull the trigger. It's supposed to be easy, but be aware of the fact that when you're cleaning and you're maintaining and you're changing parts, you should not have any ammo on the same table. In fact, in the same room. So you don't make that mistake because it's very automatic. Uh, this is a Glock 19 that I'm going to be doing some uh, work on. You can see it's got a, a magwell on it right now, which is really neat. Uh, but uh, this is demonstrations about the slide lock lever. And we have a precision slide lock lever that I want to show you. And, you know, two things about our precision extended slide lock lever. First, it is machined, not stamped. Second, it is a little bit thicker than the stamped piece. And because of that, because it's a little bit thicker, it's going to provide better accuracy. Now you heard that, okay? I'm telling you that this little part that we manufacture is going to provide better accuracy than the Glock factory slide lock or uh, the other guys, uh, other competitors slide lock levers. Now, the objective, first of all, was to make an extended slide lock lever so it's easier to actually grasp with your fingers. All right. So the disassembly of the gun is accomplished by grabbing hold of this, making sure the gun is in the fired position, pulling back the slide about a quarter of an inch or so, Okay, just a quarter of an inch, and then pulling down. You'll see the spring action there. So I'm going to pull it down. And as I pull it down, I want to keep it down and then push it, the slide forward. Now, being careful not to let the slide fall off all the way, I want to make sure I maintain control because if it falls down and hits the ground or anything hard and you put a little bit of pressure on this nose ring out here, what it's called, you could damage the nose ring, bend or dent, and at that point the slide may be um, unrepairable. So it may you know, be very careful when you take the slide off that you're not letting it fall down and, and hit the ground. And people have done that, and people have called, and people have bought slides just because of that. So I speak with experience. So I'll put that to the side here. Um, now, let's look at this part real quick. And before you take it out, let's be aware of what it does. It is captured in the frame here by a spring, and the spring rests in the frame. And that is the slide lock spring right here, the leaf spring with one leg that actually goes into the frame. It actually goes down into the frame. And you'll notice the uh, spring action here as I come up and squeeze down. That's the spring action we're looking for. So that's the motion that we're doing. And you'll see that it's very difficult to grasp these edges with my fingers. And a lot of people have trouble doing that. It's not easy, it's not hard, but it's just kind of not great. So what we've done is we've created a better slide lock lever in really two ways, really three ways in my mind. Uh, one, it's machined and not stamped. So the edges are a little bit more tactile. They're going to grab a little easier. Two, because it's machined, it's more precise and it's flat, completely flat. Very important. I want to demonstrate that here in a second. And three, because it's thicker, 
it's going to lock up more consistently than the factory or the other slide stop lever or slide lock levers that we've seen because because the thickness allows the barrel to come back to the same place every time more consistently and that consistency is what's going to transfer to better accuracy it doesn't matter where you hold the sights it's all about consistency that you'll see you'll have better accuracy because this returns the barrel to the same spot more likely than the thinner version. So really those three facets make this a better animal. Now let's go ahead and, and continue with the uh, disassembly here so we can pull out the factory and we'll, we'll go ahead and, and describe them a little bit. So to remove this what we want to do is depress that little leaf spring inside the frame there. All right, and I've got a little punch and I'm going to come in here and just depress the punch and as I push down, excuse me, depress the punch onto the spring, as I push down the spring then I can start to push this slide, stop, slide lock lever out. You'll see it slide out a little bit. Now, as it comes out, I do want you to notice one thing. The slide lock levers are two-sided. And I'll show you here on the silver one. Uh, this one side is flat. And this other side over here has a ridge in it or a, um, a cutout. And that cutout faces back towards the shooter when you are assembling this piece back into the frame. So you'll see I've got it halfway out here and you'll see that the cutout piece is basically right here looking back towards the shooter or back towards the back of the frame. Now I left it there on purpose because I didn't want the part to fall out and then people go well what side goes in uh, you got it, right? Okay, so basically, so now what we can do is I can just pull this out because I've already depressed the spring and out it comes. So there's the factory slide lock lever. Here's the other guy's slide lock lever, and here's ours. Now, ours is available in silver and black as well. I just want to show it to you in this color uh, so you could actually see it. So one of the things I want, to, I want you to notice uh, here is this other extended slide stop, a slide lock lever is not quite flat. See when you touch it on the sides how it kind of sticks up. You can almost see the, you see, you almost see the bottom of it kind of sticking up and that comes from the stamper. Okay, So the stamp like this, bang, and because it goes down it actually bends the material a little bit. And I'm going to tell you that does affect your accuracy somewhat. Okay, If you notice ours, is completely flat and you can't see any motion on it up and down. I'm just touching the side there you can see it's kind of dancing. You can also see it kind of lifting off there a little bit where it did stamp. So not only is it is it curved but it's also warped a little bit on the one side. You can kind of see it on this side right here. This side sticks up a little bit more than the other side. So I'm telling you right now that this part is going to be a superior part. It's machined here in the USA. It's, uh, it's thicker and that thickness is what helps the barrel lock up the same place. Now let's understand what this part does. Uh, this piece right here is really the heart of the gun. Remember the slide locks onto this piece. We use 416 stainless steel on this thing so uh, you know this guy basically you know goes in here and actually locks the gun in place. The only way to take the gun apart is to press that down and then the slide comes off. So there's a lot of pressure on this part and there's a lot of force on this part. So it's very important you understand that uh, you know it's it may be one of the, the smallest least understood parts in the entire Glock but there's really a lot of uh, action related to this and not only from a, uh, a strength side we, we feel our part is stronger because it's 416 stainless steel that has been hardened uh, to about uh, 50 or 46 Rockwell, 46 to 50 Rockwell. So all right now, let's look at one other thing before we move forward, and that is the slide lock spring. And there's the spring right there, and you'll notice that it kind of sits up, and, and there's the spring action we're looking for. Uh, you can remove this if you like, and I do want to show you, sometimes these things pop out and people lose them, you know, and so this, uh, one of those items you want to be careful of. Let's see if I can get this guy to come up here. Oops, there it goes. Like I said, it will pop off in a way, but here it is. 
That's the little leaf spring that comes out. See that leg right there? That leg is what goes into the, um, into the frame. All right. I can show you the same thing over here on this Glock 17. This is a Glock 19. And the reason I want to show you the different one is because this spring is different on the different guns. Even though the slide lock itself is the same, it is different on the, on the different guns. So let me go ahead and do the same process. I just took the top off. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and actually depress the spring. And out comes the slide lock factory. Okay, put that guy there. And now here's my spring down here. See if I can get this guy out without losing it. There it is. Okay, so you notice the difference in size-wise from the G17 to the G19. Now, the slide lock itself is universal. It fits in all the guns. But the springs, as you'll see, the slide lock spring is different. So that's really important to keep in mind. It's not only longer, it's got a deeper uh, tail to it. So now to reinstall, and again, we do sell these. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's like a $3 part or a $2 part, uh, but the gun doesn't work without it. It's craziness, huh? Uh, to go ahead and put this back in, you want to go ahead and, and, and anchor it into the frame with that long leg. It's going to be hard to show you right here, but we want to kind of get it settled somewhat. Let's see if I can get my big fingers down there. There it is. And then I'm just going to press it down with my punch. And there it sits. And that's kind of how it's supposed to sit. Now, to put the new extended precision or precision extended slide lock in, I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Remember, we want the cutout facing us. And so this is kind of a two-hand job here. So you have to depress the spring to get it out of the way and then slide this guy across. And as it comes across, it will capture itself. And you'll hear a little click, just like that. So there it is. And that's the motion we're looking for. And you'll see the spring is working fine. It's captured in between. Now you notice, uh, again, I, I'm using the uh, stainless or silver version of this so you can actually see it better. It sticks out a little bit more, but not enough to interfere with holsters or anything else. But it does give you a really good grip to be able to pull down and to manipulate that. And because of the thickness, the extra thickness, it's going to help the gun lock up more consistently and give you that better accuracy we talked about earlier. So now that you have that together, we're going to go ahead and put the, uh, the, the upper back onto it. Now, keep in mind that you always want to make sure the trigger's in the fired position or, or the trigger bar is forward. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when you're messing with a gun, you'll bump it and um, you'll pull that guy, the trigger in the rear, in the forward position. We want to make sure that the trigger bar is actually uh, fired and, and back, should I say, out of the way. Otherwise, you'll put it on there and it won't go on and people will you know, call up and say, I can't get my gun on, what's wrong? And basically, it just has to be in the fired position. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the slide on top of the frame, like so. Rack it. And rack it again. Beautiful. So that is the uh, precision extended slide lock lever. Uh, it's a part that, like I said, is universal for all Glocks, except for the G36 has a different model, uh, but this one part will fit in just about every Glock, and it's going to not only give you a better grip to take the gun apart, but it's going to deliver better accuracy, and I tell you what, once you uh, shoot it, once you feel it, you'll know that this is a superior part from uh, anything else out there on the market. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance Center. Thanks for watching.